Well, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about three different mining stocks today. Uh, Marathon, CleanSpark, and IREN at the request of Navi and Cow. We're talking about these three for you guys. Uh, hit that like button and subscribe. Let's get into this. Here we go. So looking at this relative low to high, we can see this interaction. Maybe, maybe not even that high. Maybe it would be this high. Because that's your like, fake out high. You can see you've had an interaction with the 50 level twice, had somewhat of a double bottom for this consolidation zone. You've been working your way up the FIBS ever since, above your 382, now to your 236. This is the area, the line in the sand that we want to cross, right? So $22 essentially is the next area to watch for. We found a little bit of resistance in that area. You know, let's actually say, let's say $22.30 to be a little bit more exact because this high close over here, that was at $20.60. So $22.60. So maybe, maybe just like $23. Let's just round up to the next dollar. Getting above this red line though, closing above it for multiple days is what we want to see. If we're looking for higher highs than this, if we're looking to break out of this whole phase of consolidation here. So that's just something to keep in mind going forward. Roughly like $22 to $23, you want to break that zone. You want to be closing above $22.30 for multiple days, technically. $22.30 for, mul for multiple days. Um, the daily RSI looks really good. I like the bounce off the 50. I like how productive it does look. You've yet to see the strength of your movements. And I mean, I think that's obvious in the price as well, right? Like you're not really, you're winding up, but you haven't really seen anything yet. Whenever you get into this overbought zone, maintaining readings in the 60s for more than just a pop, you know, like staying in it like this, um, you will probably see that next leg up and what that leg will take you to or where I should say would be from this high. Now we are taking that high to that low. Look at that, man, holding support on the 382, looking so productive. Um, yeah, $43 to $58, 43 to 58, let's call it 60. Because you can go a little bit, but you don't have to respect it completely. It could be, you know, you could go a little bit above it. Potentially higher than that, but let's let's stay a little bit grounded. 43 to $60. You're at 21 now. So solid increases over the coming weeks and months. Um, you could genu genuinely be above $40 by the end of this month. If not sometime over the summer, I would definitely assume that you would, you would uh, be at that top area. That's Marathon. Clean Spark. Still consolidating, not doing anything. The analysis today would most likely be the same as it was the last time I did this. We're consolidating. There is the chance, of course, that we could move down below $12 as I had been calling for most of this range, but I have since shifted. I think it was maybe last week or the week before that I shifted. Um, I do not believe we're gonna see this low anymore, though it is still a possibility. There is still a solid chance that we could do that. We could see a little quick little shakeout and then up, you know, some kind of bear trap and then up. It would come in line pretty well with these lows here, you know. It wouldn't be too crazy. Um, getting this low to high here, that put us right around the 0.5618 area. I mean, that's not really a conventional area to drop, but still somewhat of a possibility down there. I'm not expecting that personally. I just want to go over that because if, if the price does drop, we're at $16.36 now. If, if people are buying here, if they're prepared for the price to go up, whatever, you know, and then you, you see it drop down to below $12 one day, that's no cost for panic, right? It's just a higher low. It'd be no more cost for panic this time than it was this time than it was this time, right? Just be patient and inevitably the upside will come right so if that happens if and i don't think that it will but if is why i'm addressing it if do not panic do not panic right sometimes the charts look like they're the price is going to go one way and the exact opposite happens trading or uh, technical analysis is not perfect right it just tries to be tries is the key word it can never succeed at being perfect i mean maybe that's not even true you can have perfect ta and the outcome can still not be perfect your, your ta can be good it can make sense everything that you're looking at could make sense for the price to go one direction but the price does what it wants to do at the end of the day so anyways looking at the daily rsi enough philosophizing um Winding up for sure above the 50. I would like it if you could get above the 60 and start moving up soon because if not, you do actually kind of look like you'd you'd want to move down a little bit and that might be enough to send you down to these uh, sub $12 areas. So hopefully you hold this line. Hopefully you do move up. Let's look at the daily. That's That was the weekly RSI. That, that, that was the weekly. Let's look at the daily. The daily is bouncing off the 40. I like this a little bit more actually. That gives me some confidence that throughout this week we'll probably move up. 
the three hour yeah overall it's it's nice right no problem being overbought you got a pretty big problem being oversold at least recently back here you were but ever since then you know and that that was like your low of this consolidation range so I don't know. You're just waiting to break out, man. That's that's at the end of the day, that's what it is. So it's going to happen any day now, any week now. Um, I'd feel the most confident in saying you're going to move sideways and be be boring for the coming days, but it could be tomorrow. It could be the next day. Who knows? Um, whenever you break out, and I do assume that you'll break out to the upside, not the downside. But again, if you do, we know what to look for, right? And just because I have this line drawn at 11.89 doesn't mean it has to stop there. It could go down to 11 dollars. Like it could go, it could go below this line and still be fine. I'm just this is an idea, right? So, anyways, the the, the idea that I more so believe in is that we'll move up to about 29 dollars to 35.60 somewhere in this zone. That's what I think for everybody who's like, he's calling for it to go down and to go up. No, 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 I'm not, I don't, I don't play that game. I'm not doing that so that I can be right one way or another. I've made it very, very clear that this is a possibility, but I don't think that's going to happen. I've made it very, very clear that I think this is a possibility, but I do think this is going to happen, right? So if this possibility I'm addressing happens, I'm not going to play it as if I'm right, I'm wrong. But even though I am wrong, because I've been wrong before, I'll be wrong again we're still prepared. That's the whole point of talking about it, right? We're still prepared for, for what's to come. It's just going to be a higher low point. So I don't know if anybody is getting confused by the fact that I'm talking about both possibilities. Cause man, I get some heat for that as, as, as weird as that is talking about the outcomes, because people just expect me to be perfect. These, these guys that are coming on here to talk smack about how not perfect I am. It's like they expect me to be perfect and I just I, I want to be very clear I think I'm clear but I want to be very clear um, just because I'm talking about both sides it's not me predicting both sides right I'm just assessing what the outcomes could be potentially I mean we could just be moving sideways you know we, perhaps we're in this range for longer um, until July who, who knows really how it could happen I, I would think sometime this month we are gonna break out but again regardless of what happens be prepared just be patient one one way or another even if we move sideways we will never we will inevitably break out to the upside even if we move up we will just you know we'll, that that's the expected move nice and if we move down well cool that's a higher low and then boom then we'll move up just be patient inevitably those prices around i would say 30 to 36 let's even just say 40 dollars somewhere between 30 to 40 dollars um are likely to come I would think sometime this month of June going into July even so could be like early July late June earlier than that but this thing does like to move fast whenever it decides to break out so whenever that is whether it's today tomorrow or next week or two weeks from now it will likely be a nice movement up and we're, I, I definitely am expecting it to move up so that's clean spark got a little hung up in the translations there but that's okay it's late for me over here guys i've been it's it's been man life has been busy this past week and it's not slowing down it's only going to get busier so i'm i'm doing my best at making these videos man um I, I've, i'm making them every night I'm, I'm determined to keep making them every night i don't care how busy it gets but um it's definitely it's definitely hard to keep up with requests and comments you guys like the uh the channel being at almost 7000 subscribers now it's very hard day to day to set time aside cuz that takes if i'm doing it every day that takes at least i would say like 30 minutes to an hour to do if i let it build up over days it can take several hours like i I've, I've probably got several hours of comments at least an hour and a half worth of comments to go through um at any rate, these requests are actually from the Discord. So if anybody if anybody wants to join the Discord, feel free to do so. I'm going to leave the link in the description. I'm going to remember to I'm going to write that down actually so that I I don't forget um, because I've been bad about requests this week. So I just I figured I'd do the Discord requests and set set aside time tomorrow to just go through all the comments on YouTube so that I can fulfill everyone's requests. But uh, I don't know why I'm deciding to talk about that on my crypto mining video for the for the select few of you who are watching this. I know crypto mining isn't the most popular topic, but you know, I don't care, man. If it's if it's a request by you guys, even if it's by like just one of you, we're, we're going to talk about it. You know, that's that's the point of this channel. I don't care how popular it is or not popular. If you guys have something you want to see, let's let's look at it, because if it's not popular, but it's a good chart. Cool. Let the 10 of us who watch this or go through this chart, let the 10 of us make money if nobody else cares. That's that's the whole point of all these requests, guys. There's some some of them are dumb. Some of them are hidden gems. Some of them do better than I ever expected they could do. You know, we're, we're sifting through the dirt and and some of them do bad, you know, like we're not gonna be right 100% of the time, but we're sifting through the dirt 
the people who watch all the ones, all the videos, even if they're not ones that you're interested in specifically, if you've never heard of them, you've never taken kind of a, a, a look at these projects, they've never caught your interest, but you watch a video and you're like, oh, hey, there's an opportunity here. Perhaps it's about to break out. Perhaps we're making a move here. You can determine, you know, if you have funds set aside to trade, what might be the best over all the options we're going over. That's, that's, that's the point of doing these requests, man, of doing, um, I, you know, whether they're popular or not is to just sift through the dirt. But man, I'm, I am going off the deep end here. Let's see. We, we are definitely being constructive in the fibs with IREN. I've said this often. I think I've said this every video I've made on IREN since probably since this week. So probably since the, the halfway point of May there, I think IREN, maybe it was this week, but at, at least for the past couple weeks, few weeks, whatever. Um, that I think this is about to steal the spotlight. Clean Spark for the miners has been the one that's kind of stolen the spotlight. Clean Spark and Marathon's been moving up too. It's been doing well this cycle. Um, I think IREN is about to step into the, the limelight. And, and if you've been in technical analysis, if you've been in stocks or crypto for, <clears throat> for at least like a few years, right? If you've at least been through like one cycle for you know, whether it was like an election cycle or like an economic cycle, like I, I, I don't know, like a quantitative easing versus quantitative tightening cycle for the stock market, or if it was a Bitcoin cycle, uh, the halving cycle for, for crypto, whatever, whatever phase of bullishness that you've, you've seen, if you've ever been in a bull market for anything, you know that things take their turns. There's always the one that's going to be the most exciting stock or crypto. It steals the, the spotlight, but there will be other ones that have their time, their fun in the sun, even if there is a predominantly, uh, bullish kind of attention hog with how well it's doing. I think that's going to be clean spark or marathon. That's going to be the attention hogs personally, but I think IREN is about to get its time in the spotlight. I do think being at $9 right now, genuinely, I think you're on the way to like $40, um, to this zone here, man, like to this zone, um, over the months to come, like you could genuinely be above forty dollars by the end of the summer. I don't think that this is going to be by the end of this year. I think, I mean, it could be by the end of the year, but I think by the end of the summer, I think you've been consolidating for a bit. You haven't really seen too much strength. You've got a lot of volume coming in. I think you're going to go on a run here. And truthfully, like the last area, I don't even know if that's a proper fib to draw. Right? That's that's kind of your top that sent you down here. But is this the high to draw from? I don't know. You know, in which case you you are respecting this as well. I mean, you look, you're respecting it either way, but this one puts you up at 69.72, where this one puts you at 39. I want to be a little bit conservative. So I'm assuming over the months to come, sometime this summer, you're going to be about 40 bucks. So you're at nine bucks now. I think that you, some some big news or something's about to happen with IREN. I think that it's going to uh, steal the spotlight and it's going to, it's going to work its way up. It's going to see some phenomenal growth. How we know that this $39 and beyond, right? Cause it's not just 39, it really is 39 to 105. This range, how we know that that's like good to go is if we break above about $13 there. It's actually 1296, this white line, I drew it a little bit lower, but technically that's 1296, let's call it $13. When you break above and hold above $13, it's, it's go time, it's go time, it's gonna be phenomenal. I suppose for now, the thing is, you've been consolidating here for a solid bit, right? You've got, you look at this blue line, the 786, whether it's the 786, or if I draw it from up there, it's the 618, whatever. You've got resistance here, resistance there, support back here. It's somewhat of a significant area, kind of the topping zone of this consolidation. When this breaks, I would think you don't just stop at the 886. I, I would think you are essentially good for 40 bucks, man. Like I, I really do mean it. I think this is going to happen. I mean, it could take multiple months, but it's going to seem like it happens fast, right? Like that looks like a fast line. That's all the way out in August. You know what I mean? So it can take, we're, we're at the very beginning of June now. So all of June, all of July going into August, you know, it can take two, two and a half months to do this. But uh, yeah, I think IREN, IREN, I might be wrong. I don't know, but I, I did pretty good with CleanSpark, man. Out of all the mining stocks, CleanSpark was the one that I put my money into. If I, you know, I'm, I'm actually, <laughs> I, might, might, I might be considering rolling it into IREN. I, the only thing is IREN moved up already where CleanSpark hasn't moved up. So that's, it, it kind of prevents me and it's been good to me. So I'm, either way, I think CleanSpark is going to go up. So I'll probably just hold that. IREN though might be a good uh, crypto mining stock to get into. I think out of all of them, Hut8, Wolf, Hive, 
Bit Farms, BTBT, uh, what is it? There's there's other ones that I can't think of. What what are they? Let's see. I've got some over here. Um, Argo Blockchain. Where are there other ones? There's got to be other ones. Probably. I don't have it set up on this one though. I've got like my. Uh, maybe it is set up on here. Let's see. Crypto money. There we go. Yeah. Ebang, Ebong, Riot. All these. I think. I really think the one that's going to steal the spotlight over the coming coming months is probably going to be Iris. But I don't know. We'll see. Time will tell. Anyways, hit that like button, you guys. Subscribe if you want to see more. IREN, just waiting to break out in case that wasn't clear. I know I got lost in the translation a little bit there. We're waking, waiting to break above $13. Whenever you, essentially you're at $9 now, the next target area is $13. When you break above that, it's on. And I mean, your weekly RSI looks very bullish. Your daily RSI looks very bullish. I mean, if, if you were to pull back from here, it's not going to be by much. You're at $9.06. I don't think you're going to go below $7.50 again. You're, you're, I think you're going to be above $13 before you're ever below $17.50 again. I think you, you look really good, so... We'll see what it merits. We'll see what it brings. But I suppose if I'm wrong, perhaps, you know, you could come down and form another higher low. That'd be kind of odd. But I would assume if IREN does this, the rest of the crypto mining stocks would do this too. And we've illustrated scenarios for CleanSpark and this. And I would assume Marathon has a scenario where that, that could happen too. Let's actually check. I mean, I, I don't know. I wouldn't want to see Marathon come. If it was to drop while the rest of them dropped, it'd probably go lower than that. We wouldn't want to see that. So maybe not so much for Marathon. Anyways, guys, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. I think they're all moving up. It's just a matter of time. They're all going to pop, and it'll be crypto mining season again. So patience, patience, patience. Take care. Bye-bye.